Hello, my name is Jordan Roney and I'm a project manager at here at IOHK. Today I'm going to give you an update on one of the projects I'm responsible for called Project Gogan. So, so what is Gogan and what will it do? So Gogan will deliver smart contracts capabilities for Cardano. Um, we're going to create a new layer called the computational layer where smart contracts will reside and will be executed. What's in Gogan? There's a lot of new and innovative features in Gogan, and I'll briefly describe them right now. Sidechains. So sidechains is research we've done, which will allow us to move tokens between the blockchains without a third party being involved. Then there's accounting. And accounting will allow us to support UTXO and account-based transactions. We've got multi-currency, which allows multiple cryptocurrencies to exist on a single ledger. Then we have Plutus. So Plutus is a general purpose language for writing smart contracts. We have Marlow, which is another smart contract language designed for financial transactions. We have Yelly, which is a virtual machine with a universal language framework called the K framework for smart contract transactions. End users. This will allow users to execute smart contracts. Uh, we're very focused on improving the end user experience when it comes to smart contracts. Finally, your developers, and these are the tools which developers will use to, to create smart contracts. And this is something we also regard as being very, very important to create a really excellent developer experience. What have we done? We've done quite a lot to date. We've done some academic research on the accounting, multiple currency, and side chains. We've been engineering the Plutus language, and we've created a roadmap to define what's going to be delivered in the next 12 months. For Marlowe, we've got released of version 1.2. We've created an academic paper on it. We've also got a roadmap to define what's going to be delivered over the next year. The first version of the ELA virtual machine has been completed. And we're working on the completion of a Solidity to Yelly translator. And finally, we've adapted Mantis, which is the Ethereum Classic client produced by IOHK, to work with the Yelly VM and KEVM. And this is going to allow us to showcase and allow you to interact with the virtual machines until it's finally integrated into Cardano. So our first deliveries, which are test nets. So we're very excited about our first deliveries because it's a, an opportunity for us to engage with you and let you know um, what, what the technology is and what it can and can't do. So the first testnet we're going to release is using the KEVM, which is a stack-based machine. It's a ex fully executable form of semantics of the Ethereum virtual machine, and it uses K for formal specification and the K framework for execution. And what's the learning experience going to be here? Well, it's going to allow you to understand the practical application of formal semantics by interacting with the virtual machine uh, and executing Solidity contracts. It's also a known quantity, so it allows you to compare the, Ether the Ethereum virtual machine with something that has been built using K and the K framework. And finally, it's going to allow us and you to make better software by the feedback that you're going to provide and the changes we will roll out during the life time of the testnet. And this is going to go live on the 28th of May, 2018. The second testnet we're going to launch is the, the LA virtual machine, which we're really, really excited about. Um, and this is a register-based machine inspired by LLVM. It does also uses K for formal semantics and the K framework for the execution. And what's the learning experience going to be there? Well. Here, you're going to get an opportunity to do a comparison of a stack-based and a register-based virtual machine through the two test nets. And these test nets will exist in parallel when the early virtual machine is launched. And also here, we're, we're, we're really excited about getting your feedback about what's good and bad about the virtual machine, but also about the test nets. So we can create a better experience for you, get really good feedback, and make better software. So the LA virtual machine is not going to be launched at the same time as the, the KVM. It's going to go live in probably June or July time. And in the next update, I'll give you a more accurate date about when that's going to occur. So what's next? Well, as I said, we're going to be providing you with monthly updates on the project, what's happening and what you can expect. Um, we're going to use our monthly updates to 
let you know about what feedback we've received and suggestions and how we're going to address that. And we're going to make you aware of the important dates and events that are upcoming for Gogan, so you can be prepared. And this is very, very important to us because community engagement and what you think is at the heart of what we do. So letting you know about these dates and events is really important so we can get your feedback and make better software. That's all for today. I'd like to thank you for your time and I look forward to speaking to you again in the near future. Bye-bye.